What's going on guys? John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're gonna look at safe areas for our apps with Flutter. Right, guys, like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at safe areas, but before we get started, if you like this video and wanna see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off memberships on my courses, videos, and books for one-time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at safe areas. And now this is super important. We haven't talked about it yet, and we can go over this very quickly, but very key to all of your apps. So this is the app we've been working on in the last few videos. And you can see there's this little square rectangle thing right in the middle, and it's right in the middle, so we don't really care. But you'll notice up here at the top, your phone has stuff. Like there's this little bar up here that has the battery life and the time. And depending on your phone, if you're on an iPhone down here, there might be a little thing. And we need to make sure that everything in our app is in a safe area so it's not up in this little bar thing. And let me show you what I mean. Let's head back over to our code. I'm using Visual Studio Code. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So we've got, we could see some margin set. So let me just comment out this margin and save this. And you can see, all right, now we're up at the top, but we've got this app bar. Let's get rid of that as well. So let's see, here is the app bar. I'm just gonna kind of comment out all this stuff. We might wanna bring this back in a bit. So there we go. Now, if we go ahead and save this, come back over here, you can see, uh-oh, our square rectangle thing is up in this area here, and that's no good. So just by default, everything gets scrunched up in that corner. And if you use margin like we did down here, you can move stuff around, but that's not good enough. We wanna make sure whatever we do absolutely does not sort of overlap this top bar thing here or anything down here at the bottom if you're using a different type of phone, iPhone or whatever. So how do we do that? Well, we can use something called a safe area. It's very easy. All we have to do is wrap everything in a safe area widget. So we can come down here and here's our body. And here's this container we looked at in the last video. If I double click this and highlight this, and then come over here to this little guy here and click on it, we could say wrap with widget. And this will just automatically add everything that we've got in our container into a new widget. And you can see here it says widget. So we just need to change the name of this to whatever widget we want. And in this case, we want a safe area. Now notice capital S and capital A. So that is it. We'll go ahead and save this, head back over here. Boom, you see now our little square is no longer in this top bar thing here it's in a safe area. And that's what the safe area means. It means area not sort of uh, in the way of system defaults. So the top bar thing, the bottom bar thing, if there's a bottom bar, if you're using an iPhone, there might be some little things down here or whatever, iPad, whatever it has, you know, whatever you've got, it'll make sure it's in a safe area. And that's all there is to it. So super easy, almost doesn't need its own video, but I kind of need to tell you about it because, you know, you need to know this. So, uh, and it's Friday anyway, right? Easy video this Friday. So that's all there is to it, safe area. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.